Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you what I'm making for dinner today because it's one of my favorite things to do, which is to take the leftovers of one meal and turn it into something completely different. And what makes me extra excited about this meal is that it's actually half vegetables. What I'm doing is I'm taking the taco meat that I had for taco night two nights ago, as you can see, it's ground beef, peppers, onions, and I flavored it with some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and chili powder. And I added a little bit of sasson to it. That's not an ingredient that's necessary. I just wanted to give it a little bit of an extra kick. But anyway, as you can see, I have a lot of leftovers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it into stuffed zucchini boats and I'll show you how I make it. But again, it's one way of taking leftovers and instead of having a separate taco night or just putting it with rice or something, I can actually turn it into something completely different and I can get the kids to eat even more vegetables because not only does the ground meat have peppers in it, but now I'm putting it inside a zucchini and I'm putting cheese on it. So they're not gonna be able to resist it. Let me show you how I do it. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next, cut the tops of the zucchini off. Now, cut the zucchini in half and try to make sure that both sides are even because this will ensure even cooking in the oven. Next, make sure to have a bowl nearby and scoop out the insides of the zucchini, leaving the outside intact so that you can stuff them later, and take the insides of the zucchini and put them in the bowl. is to put a little bit of oil around the stuffed zucchini and just rub it in. Make sure that you get the front and the back and obviously this one I cracked a little bit. And then you take it and you're going to turn them facing down. put the zucchinis in for just about 15 minutes just so that they start getting cooked and are soft. Next, take the insides of the zucchini and put them in a food processor. You want to give it a few pulses to make sure that they're all cut into even size small pieces. If you don't have a food processor, don't worry, you can always put the zucchini in a blender or on a cutting board and give it a really good chop. Next, add the zucchini into a bowl and you're going to add one and a half cups of ricotta cheese, one egg, and about two tablespoons of basil.
So while the zucchini are cooling down, I'm going to take advantage of this time and I'm going to grate the mozzarella cheese that's going to go on top and also I'm going to scrub and dice some sweet potatoes that I'm going to put in the oven along with the zucchini when it goes back in and that way we can have stuffed zucchini with roasted sweet potatoes. So let me show you. Since this recipe only calls for about half of a block of mozzarella cheese, I'm going to cut the block in half, grate half for this recipe, and then use plastic wrap to wrap the rest and put it in the fridge for a future recipe. Next, I take the sweet potatoes and put them in a bowl and to the bowl I add oil, which in this case is avocado oil, salt and pepper, and give it a good mix so that every piece is covered in the oil. Next, take the sweet potatoes and put them on an aluminum foil covered cookie sheet and put it in the oven. Now don't forget to add the meat to the cheese mixture, like I almost did, and take each zucchini and stuff it with the mix. And now you top it with the shredded mozzarella. And in the oven it goes for another 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, you take out both trays and just let them cool. And there you have it, stuffed zucchini boats with roasted sweet potatoes. So that taco meat that I used two nights ago, I also put it into the zucchini boats and I have enough left over along with that cheese mixture and that half a block of mozzarella cheese to make another meal. And that'll be my next video. So please look forward to that. And now you can see how I really stretch every ingredient that I get in my grocery hauls. So I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support and your comments. So if you have any questions or any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.